campus. OK, the good news is the residents all moved to temporary locations with running AC, but it is all ages being affected by this heat. And as student athletes get ready for fall sports to begin, they are changing their plans, moving practices to early in the morning, making for a very long day for those student athletes. Absolutely. KSHB 41 News reporter Daniela Leon live at Bishop Miege. Look, it's 6 a.m. and they are well getting started. They've already suited up lights on at the stadium too. Yeah, hey, good morning, Taylor and Lindsay. Kind of looks like a field of dreams out here. Behind me, you will see Bishop Meage football team practicing due to that extreme weather. Uh, the school's cross country team, along with the boys' soccer team, is also here. I'm going to step outside so you guys can just kind of see this morning practice take off. You will see the team going through some drills right now, and they're dressed in pads and helmets, ready to take on this morning practice. As you can see, there's also support staff on the field with them. We talked to coaches and staff about what it's like to practice under these extreme temperatures and they told us it's all about keeping their athletes safe and reminding them to simply listen to their body. With long distance, uh, you have to uh, because you heat up and you're, it's a continual thing. The, the breaks, uh, you have to tell the kids to break because they want to keep running. And heat exhaustion, heat stroke, you worry about all of that. Especially here in football where that's, you know, the, the toughness side of things and all that is what you try to teach as a coach. And this is where now you have to peel all that back and tell them, hey, you got to make sure if your body can't go, it can't go. And and morning practice will be wrapping up around 8 o'clock this morning. I asked coaches if meets or games will be impacted by the extreme temperatures that we're seeing right across Kansas City, and they told us right now it's still too early to make that determination. Mm. Reporting at Bishop Meage High School, Daniela Leone, KSHB 41 News, back to you guys. Yeah, because so many of those sports hit the ground running. They have competition. We've got Friday Night Lights very this quickly. Friday That's on the exactly Missouri side. Right. Daniela, yep. how does the school make a determination on when it's too hot for students to be out? Is it when the heat wave, because we talk about, you know, heat waves being 95 and older for a certain time, uh, length of time. How do they make that decision? Yeah, well, you will see right now the cross country <laughs> team hard at work, always wanting to point those guys out. So the state of Kansas gives them uh, guidelines that they need to follow, and they re recommend certain requirements for coaches to follow on through, including checking those outside temperatures every 30 minutes and adjusting the gear these athletes wear on the field if they need to with those extreme temperatures. So important. So, so important. Daniela, thank you very much.